To help you start planning your next semester schedule, let's learn how to read the schedule of classes. To find the SPCC class schedule, go to the opening page of the college website at www.sbcc.edu and click on Classes Offered located toward the bottom center of the page. Then click on the semester you would like to enroll into. In our example, Spring 2011. Next, we will go to the subject box. Click on the subject that you're interested in taking. Let's go to English Composition as an example. As you scroll down, you can see the many subjects that Santa Barbara City College offers. Let's click on English Composition and hit the search button. Click Yes to the Security tab, and now you can see all the different courses that SPCC offers for that semester. Let's scroll down to English Composition, English 110. The first column status indicates if the class is open, closed, or waitlisted. You are able to enroll online in classes that indicate an open status. Waitlisted means you may place yourself on a waitlist, and if a space opens up, you will receive a pipeline email indicating that you have 72 hours to enroll in this class. If a class is closed, you have the option of trying to crash when cra classes begin and keep checking the website to see if a space opens. The next column, I, indicates the instructional method. English 110 is taught through a variety of instructional methods. Some are taught primarily online and partially on campus, CW, fully online, OL, or they have a connection to Gateway, G, or the MET program, MT. In this example, let's look at the second English 110 course. The instructional method for this course is CW. To understand what CW is, simply click on the I and scroll down to CW. That's right, Classroom Web-Based Instruction Method. Next, on the main page, we have the CRN column. This is a course registration number that you will need to know in order to register for a specific class. It is important to click on the CRN number to find out further information about the class. Let's do that now. Here you can see the course description, if it is transferable, if there are any prerequisites, co-requisites, or skills advisories. If you would like to just review the prerequisites and co-requisites, you can click on the next column titled pre slash co -recs. A screen will pop up and there is the prerequisite that is required to get into English 110. In the next column is the number of units and the type of class it is. It can either be lecture or lab. In this example, the class is three units and it is a lecture. In the next column are the days and times the class meets. For example, the first English 110 class meets Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.55 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. The next column tells you the building and room number for that class. If you are unsure of the location of where your class meets, simply click on the building and room number for a campus map. The next column refers to the maximum capacity for the class, the actual number of enrolled students, and the remaining spaces. The next three columns include waitlist information. In the next column, you can find the name of the instructor. And the last two columns show the start and end dates and total number of weeks of the class. Be aware that some classes may begin later or end earlier in the semester. Now you know how to read the schedule of classes and you can start planning your first semester. Good luck!